Rocky Forest's new Evolution Atlantica landed in my inbox about a week ago. I was playing around with it and pretty excited. I uh, wasn't sure exactly what kind of video I wanted to do. I've been under the weather. I've had a flu, some fever, and uh, pretty stuffed up, as you can probably tell from my slightly lower register voice. Uh, so with this video, I think what I just wanted to do is checking out. I'm just going to play through some of the sounds. Keep Forest's uh, sophomore release here, Evolution Atlantica. It downloads is about 9 gigabytes, and it does uh, require the full version of Contact 5.5.1 or higher. There's over a hundred Contact instruments, and it's very much in this hybrid tools kind of style. The library sells from Keep Forest uh, at a special intro price at the time of recording for a $159. Normally will sell for $199 US dollars. I'll be sure to include links over to Keep Forest as well as a link to the sample library review Evolution Atlantic uh, page where we'll have all the demos and official videos as well as any other uh, review videos or first looks that we find. So you can really dig in, see if the library is right for you. So they've used a similar style interface as what they've done before. With the main page, a motion and modulation page, and the big control knob on the front. Looks like, uh, I might not have mentioned this before, but it uh, looks very much like uh, one of my other favorite trailer developers libraries as far as the design and interface goes the instrument's main 15 nkis are made of trailer low brass you got two different inception brass libraries A double doom guitar NKI. Which I'm still not quite sure how to get the most out of that one. There's some epic trailer hits. Whooshes. Booms. Couple short punch hits instruments. Tonal reverse effects and risers. Drops. Alarms.
sub hits. and transition shutters. Now, uh, digging in a little further to the library, uh, there is uh, individual folders for pulses, Uh, alarms, more brass, guitars with a whole bunch of instruments in here. So I have to say, overall, the sound design stuff, uh, it's really good, really punchy, nice sounding stuff. I really enjoy uh, listening to it. I think it'll be very inspirational, very useful, especially for those trying to create hybrid-like and trailer track-ish music. The only criticism I think I would have to say up front is this uh, big knob. It's kind of cool, but uh, I had to MIDI learn it to my mod wheel, otherwise it's not sync to anything and then it also um i don't know if it's hooked up to actually do anything on the instruments even once i do learn it here there we go let's just test it and find out for sure yeah it just looks pretty unless you were to sync it with something i guess um either in the modulation or in the uh, motion controls or effects. It would have been nice if they would have uh, thought, hey, this knob will be useful and it'll always be used by the model wheel and it will always do a low pass filter or something like that. I also think that, uh, you know, I honestly find the motion controls confusing. I guess this is sequence and gate and P, maybe panning. I don't think it's the most intuitive um, step sequencing interface. And the random function, you know, when I turn this on, I don't quite know what I'm randomizing yet. Uh, be sure and check out the official walkthrough video 
so you can make sure you understand all that. I think that uh, it's a pretty cool instrument. I think it's a great price, especially for everything you get. Love to hear your thoughts. Are you using Evolution Dragon? Are you interested in Evolution Atlantica? And is this kind of hybrid sound design instruments you're looking for for your kind of tracks? Please comment in the description below. Love your support. Please like, share, and subscribe. And be sure to head over to SampleLibraryReview.com for latest news and software reviews.